हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू सम कंस्ट्रक्शन इट इज़ फ्रॉम ग्रेड नाइन्थ एंड द कंस्ट्रक्शन इज टू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ ट्रायंगल गिवन इट्स बेस अ बेस एंगल एंड द सम ऑफ टू साइड्स सो फर्स्ट लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू डू दिस कंस्ट्रक्शन इन अ रफ डायग्राम व्हाट वी आर गिवन ओवर हेयर इज I have been given a base. Suppose BC is my base, so base is given to us, and one of the base angle is also given to us. But the two sides are not given. Instead, the sum of two sides is given. So how to do this construction? First, what we will do? We will first make the base. The given base, we are going to make it over here. then we will make the base angle whatever is the base angle you will be drawing the base angle and then the sum of two sides the sides over here are ab plus ac is given you are given ab plus ac so what we are going to do is we are going to cut ab plus ac on this ray on this ray you will mark a cut okay sum of two sides you will mark a cut and you will join it to c next there are two methods so first method i am going to explain right now what we will do we will make this angle equal to we will make an equal angle over here okay what we are going to do is we are going to make equal angles by doing so and then you extend it so that it cuts your original ray at this point a so what we are going to do is you made equal angles by making these angles equal you are making actually an isosceles triangle okay so in an isosceles triangle if i mark this point as d then ad will be equal to ac and when ad is equal to ac then what happens what this was the total sum of two sides you have cut this much portion ad portion and you have added that portion over here ac so this complete bd your bd was sum of two sides from that what you did from that you removed a patch you removed some length ad and instead you added that length over here so now what happens this ab ab plus ac becomes equal to your bd which was given originally so now abc is the required triangle let us do this construction first we will take the condition where we are given the measurements as suppose bc is given as 6 cm and angle b is given as 60 degrees the sum of two sides that is ab plus ac other two sides apart from the base angle is given as suppose 9 cm now we need to do this construction so for this construction as i explained you you will start from first the base so i will draw the base bc which is 6 cm so you have drawn the base mark the points as b and c next take your compass and make a 60 degree angle at b you know how to make 60 degree angle with compass already one video is there if you don't know you can check it over here i'll explain once more first with any length any radius and b as center mark an arc then don't change the length in your compass with the same length and keep your metallic needle at this point okay same length just cut it so this becomes 60 degree 
join it with vertex B. This is 60 degree angle. And extend it. To make a ray. Next what you need to do is. On this ray you have to cut the sum of two sides which is given 9 cm. Now there are two ways to cut it. Some do keep their scale like this starting from 0 and mark 9 cm. That is also correct. Okay over here it is 9 cm. And I will mark that point as D. And some, what they do in the compass also, you can take 9 cm measurement from the scale like this. Like this you can take 9 cm measurement and then cut your ray like this. Okay, that will also be the correct method. Now next what you need to do, as I have explained you in the small diagram, you need to join this D to C. So join D to C and then we are using the property of isosceles triangle and making equal angles. Where you have to make equal angle? You have to make equal angle over here that is B D C you will be making equal to D C and the third vertex will come somewhere over here. So you know how to make equal angles. If not, there is a video, you can check it out. I have posted a video earlier. Over here, we will quickly make the equal angles. For that, what do we do? First, with any radius, mark an arc with DS center. Don't change the measurement. Don't change the measurement. Same measurement from C, mark an arc. Then what you need to do? You have to take this length in your compass. How do we do so? See here, we just keep the metallic needle at one end and our pen or pencil at another end. So I have taken this measurement. Same measurement because you are making the angle from here. So same measurement, don't change the measurement. Cut an arc. Keep your metallic needle over here and cut an arc. So with this, what you have done? You have made this angle, you have made this angle equal to this angle. Extend the ray, extend the ray so that it cuts your BD at A. This point is A. Okay, so as explained earlier, I have made equal angle. This, if this is X degree, this is also x degree. We have made equal angle. And why we did so? Because by making equal angles, what happened? This side comes equal to this side. So whatever you took off from the sum of two sides, this was sum of two sides, right? You have taken a patch from here and you have added it over here. So your A, B, C is the required triangle. A, B, C is the required triangle. Thank you. Now, the same construction which we did just now. That is the construction of a triangle when base, one of the base angle and sum of two sides is given. The same construction can be done with an alternative way. Right now, what we did? We made the angles equal. With this method, we have done. Second method is the same construction, what we are going to do is, we are first going to again make the base. We will make the base, same step as earlier. You will also make the base angle, same as earlier. Then just cut the sum of two sides on this ray. Join it with C, same procedure. Till here it is same. Next what you will do is you will make a perpendicular bisector of CD. Instead of making equal angles you can also make a perpendicular bisector. Many find this way easy. Make a perpendicular bisector 
and wherever your perpendicular bisector intersects d b or b d mark that point as a and this becomes a b c becomes your triangle required triangle how can we justify this you can justify very easily right now you have made a perpendicular bisector so perpendicular bisector means this angle is 90 degree this angle is 90 degree this is a bisector this is a common side so the two angle the two triangles are congruent and when these two triangles are congruent again the same concept that your ad is equal to ac so again whatever patch you are deleting whatever patch you are taking off from the sum of two sides you are adding it over here same concept but this side with perpendicular bisector and many find making perpendicular bisector easier than making equal angles now let us do this construction again we will keep the measurement same so we will make for 6 centimeter our BC and then make an angle of 60 degree as we did earlier at B this was base angle was given 60 I am keeping the measurement same so this is the way we make 60 degree angle join it to get your angle then extend it to make a ray and cut 9 centimeter from it mark it as d cut 9 centimeter the sum of two sides other two sides is given as 9 centimeter cut it mark it as d and join dc till here the steps are same next what you need to do is you need instead of making equal angles this side perpendicular bisector and how to make a perpendicular bisector we take a measurement more than approximately more than half of the given line segment and mark arc on both the sides we know how to make a perpendicular bisector right with the same measurement from this side also mark an arc so that it cuts Okay, if your compass moves, yes, there will be problem. So compass screw you need to fix so that it is not moving. Now draw a perpendicular bisector. You know the procedure for making perpendicular bisector. So we have made a perpendicular bisector of line segment DC. Of line segment DC. Wherever it intercepts your original ray which you have made. Okay, BD ray. Mark that point as A. And then join it to see ABC is the required triangle. ABC, your ABC is the required triangle. Again, the justification I will explain. The justification is these two triangles are congruent, and when they are congruent, this AD is equal to AC. So whatever you took off. From the sum of two sides, you have added it as a third side. So again, this side plus this side plus this side is same. Thank you.